Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors, America's only daily outdoor TV show. Your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors. I'm Winston Chester. I'm glad you're here this morning. Got a big show lined up, special guest here. But first, let's take a look at our weather. Brought to us by Gulf Coast Air Conditioning, Drew Potter and hardworking crew taking care of our everyday comfort needs. And Lord knows we need some comfort in this hot weather we're having now. A high today, 88, low down to 78. Water temperature, 88. It's been it's been tied in together uh, the last two or three weeks as far as the water temperature and air temperature have been close to the same. Let's take a look at our river readings. Brought to us by Panama City, Coca-Cola. Good folks down there. Looking at the Apalachicola, Blunstown, 3.7 and steady. Take a look at the Choctahatchee at Careville. It's a 2.7. And it's steady. It bounces up a little bit now and then with those heavy rains, but not much movement as far as up and down. The rivers are in good shape. Our tide chart brought to us by Kent Forest Lawn. Looking at this morning, a 7.25 high tide. Great tide today. Outgoing to about 7.04 tonight. So good, strong tides. And our water temperature, like I say, is stayed at 88 for like one week solid. So that's been interesting. Wind direction, south-southwest at about 10 to 12 seasonal winds right there. Let's take a break. We'll be right back with our special guest. Okay, welcome and welcome back to one of our guests been on before, right? Yes, sir. This is Sister Arnold, okay? Actually, let me go ahead and do a disclaimer. This is family here. This is our cousin uh, from Sneeds, Sister Arnold, all American in softball. I'm so proud of you when she made All-American we started making plans for her to come back on the show. We just had our family reunion a couple of weeks ago, so we got together and, and uh, we're glad you're back down here. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Well, listen, we uh, and then Dad Luke is back there and we're trying to get him in front of the camera, but we're <laughs> going to talk about him later. But let's talk about how, you know, Sneeds. Tell us about Sneeds, growing up in Sneeds. Um, well, it's a small town. Uh, there's not really much to do there. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lake, so a lot of people fish, but we have like a few gas stations, a grocery store, and the high school, and elementary school, and that's it. Small town America. And uh, you wanted to play ball over there in Liberty County, made y'all state champions in yes. softball. And then uh, tell us, tell us after you graduated, where'd you go to college? I go to Northwest Florida State. It, it's in Niceville. That's a, and and all, who do y'all play? Who are some of the teams y'all play? Um, well, the teams in our conference are Chipola, Gulf Coast, Pensacola State, and TCC. Okay, so that, that's a pretty strong region. and A lot of softball players come in and play. I mean, yes, sir. Uh, and first of all, I always got to tell people, how did you get named Sister? Because it's Elizabeth Grace. But you always go by sister. So how'd you get that name, sister? Um, like I said, I lived in a small town, so I went to church growing up with the lady that ended up being my kindergarten teacher, and my brother couldn't say Elizabeth, so he called me sister. Mm -hmm. And then I guess my family all called me sister, so then she knew me as sister. So then when I started school, she would call me sister, but she made... She told me I had to know how to write Elizabeth before I could start writing sister on my paper. <laughs> that, I love it. Okay, so you go now. You go, go off to college, and you know when you go off to college, you don't really know what to expect. I mean, really, but you, you play travel ball and all, and you knew you knew that uh, y'all were going to have a pretty good team. You saw some good players, didn't you? Yes. I mean, really, that, that, that's another level, right? Uh -huh. And uh, but. Lo and behold, uh, you started off strong. I mean, you hit, I mean, we got some pictures here. Let's check out some of these pictures, okay? Here we go. So tell us about, okay, here we are here. What great form, so tell us about it. <laughs> that was in one of the games that we played in the state tournament to see if we were gonna be able to go to nationals or not. And I remember they had changed the pictures and that was the first pitch of my bat, and my coach just kept, she said something to me like, first pitch, first at bat, and you hit that ball that hard, that's crazy that you did that. Like I didn't, I seen some warm up pitches that she threw, but I never seen any in, actually in the box. And she just <laughs> went off about how cool that was. So, uh, so you started off strong? Or, yes, sir. Okay. 
And uh, he was almost the same form, different color uniform, and what's <laughs> going on here? Um, that was actually a home run that I hit. And those fields were, I think, 225 maybe. And I didn't think I was going to be able to hit it out because I just didn't think I was that strong. And I know when I hit the ball, I was like, no way I just hit that ball that hard. And then it ended up going over, so I just thought that that was cool. <laughs> yeah, that, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, so, how many? Uh, you you start off having home runs. I remember reading about you. You start off with a bunch um, of home runs. The what? first tournament we had, I hit four. Four home runs in a tournament as a freshman. I never played college ball. I, I, we kept up with it, and uh, it was so so interesting and all. So all right, we get a reward award right here. What is this right here? Um, okay. Y'all were states. Look, I can read it. In the national. Were y'all at nationals or? I think that was. I don't really remember. Okay, so anyway, y'all win the state? Uh, yes, yeah, so we won our conference, which is the Panhandle Conference, and then we went to the state tournament, which is like the winner of the conferences play, and then they have some other like C, other people that get in, teams mm -hmm. that weren't the top two in the conference. Mm -hmm. And then after that, the top people, I think there's two, and then there's another, like people get a buy into it. Okay. Three from our state go. So we came in second in state. So we went and then there was another team in Florida after us that got to go because their record was right. so good. Right. And right here, this picture, Panhandle Conference Player of the Year as a freshman. That, that's awesome. Were you surprised at getting that or you were tickled? Um, the week before it came out, there was a girl on my team that said, she's like, sister, I think you're going to get player of the year. And our stats were kind of right there together. Uh -huh. And I was like, no, like you'll get it, you're sophomore. And she's like, no, your conference stats are better than mine. And then I remember I was going to Destin to go shopping and she called me and she just started like screaming and squealing Aww. and yelling. And I was like, Ashlyn, what? And she was like, you're playing of the year congratulations wow how strong is that that had to been exciting uh, okay and now check this one out here new season single season RBI leader that's a, a record right there 72 RBIs wow I think I ended the season with 81 I think okay. so hey. I ended up that's the new record now but yeah <laughs> 81. That's pretty strong. Let's take a quick break. We'll be coming right back with Sister and got some outdoor stuff coming up to show you. Okay, welcome back. See, with Sister Arnold from Sneed, Florida, a, a member of the Northwest Florida College of softball team, uh, All American. So, that, what an honor. So, uh, were you tickled to become an All, all American there? Yes, I know you sir, I was. Player of the Year, then you become All American. Uh, what, what's remarkable is uh, you've had your share of injuries. Yes, I know you, you've had all kinds. Of, tell us about some couple of injuries. I know. Um, my junior year, I, between my junior and senior year, I had a knee surgery. Um, and then between my senior year and my freshman college season, I had a shoulder surgery. I tore my labrum. And I think I was on the show when I had a sling you on had last a sling. year. Right. Yeah, so. Um, I had to recover and all from that, and then I was able to come back and play in the spring of this past year. And uh, you, you know, when you have an injury, I know athletes have an injury, you don't wave a magic wand there well. You work really hard to rehab yourself. I know you work really hard. I, I did. Talked to you, you did. I talked to your parents and all, and I know how hard you work to come back, and then this is what, what can happen. That's cool. Well, I know your roots. Uh, I know you folks and all, like I say, we're, I see her every year at a family reunion and I always got some stories, but I know your dad loves the outdoors and you grew up in outdoors. Yes, I did. So we got some pictures, just show you how outdoors. So let's talk about these pictures, really. So, okay, um, that was a duck hunting trip we went on on Lake Talquin and that's my friend Riley Red. She's from Liberty County too. All right, Lake Talquin ducks. Oh, wow, <laughs> that, that's a, okay. Um, that was at a pond at my house. There's, I cast it out and when I was reeling it in, I seen that little fish. And then when I hooked, <laughs> it felt heavy. So I thought I was hooked on something and I hooked two on one. Oh, really? And look at that, that color. That's cool. That was exciting, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> That's just the bigger one. 
Wow. Did y'all take home eat it? You, <laughs> no, sir. We threw it back. Look at this. Um, that's a deer I killed, I think, two years ago at the house. That's nice. Where are you here? Um, that's Mount Chihol in Alabama. Our nationals is in Oxford, and our coach took us up there, and we like walked the trail and walked up the mountain. Oh, cool. So where were nationals in? Oxford, Alabama. Okay, yeah. All right. That's a deer that my brother killed, and we all got out in the yard and had to clean it. <laughs> Dylan, and Dylan's getting married in a couple of weeks, huh? He is. All right. Okay, this is this is a different picture there. Middle Marine family. This is another family doing some family stuff. Tell them, I, I got a kick out of you having uh, some friends come over because y'all live in a small town in America. Tell us that story. Um, well, so we Easter weekend, they weren't able to go home because they lived so far away. And they came home with me because I was going home to eat Sunday dinner with my family. So we went went to church and they were we were all sitting on our front porch and they were all like looking out and they were like, this is so crazy. It's crazy that y'all don't have any neighbors because they all live right beside somebody. So we can't, the closest house to us is far, far away. So it, I guess it's different for other people. That, that's cool. Well, listen, uh, you're going to, this is something interesting. You folks know a lot of y'all will talk about sports and all. Uh, you don't know what to expect this year because your team, with the way the NIL and everything is now, your coach uh, only kept four players. Yes, this sir. is interesting. Y'all were one of the best teams in the state, and yet you only kept four players. Well, tell us that what happened with that. So, you just gonna bring in new ones? Um, yes. Yeah, so he'll get some. He has his upcoming class that he recruited, and then he'll get some other people from the transfer portal. Okay, that is amazing to keep up with that. And you have girls from all over Southeast. Mm -hmm. We have some girls from a lot of girls from Alabama. There's a few girls from the Florida Panhandle. And then I know there's a girl from Arkansas and there's a girl from Mississippi. And then a few from Louisiana. How many games y'all play in a season? I think we played 63. Oh my goodness, <laughs> 63 games. Yes, sir. And uh, what position, tell us about the position and what are you play? Well, I have always been a catcher, but this past year I played first base because of my shoulder and my arm wasn't really mm -hmm. strong enough. So I was able to play first base so I could play defense and be in the lineup. So I was happy with that. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> a lot less work than catch. catching is a job. It is. <laughs> you every pitch and all. What did you bat in the lineup? I I started off second, and then he flipped me and another girl. So I, she hit second, and I hit third. Third, okay. What, what was it? What, bad average? What did it end up? It was three ninety eight. Three ninety eight. Not right. quite four hundred. <laughs> when you, uh, I, I know I love fast pitch softball, and uh, I, you see different pitchers at different times, so you never know what to expect. Or you <laughs> What's your biggest challenge in hitting a softball? Are you trying to do, see, judge the speed of it, the motion of it, or what? I was going to. Um, I change-ups, the changing of speed, kind of throw me off a little bit. But I've been working on it. So. <laughs> Are you doing it in travel ball this summer? No, sir. I'm just, too old. We, we talked about, uh, you know, really just let your body rest a little bit <laughs> because you go so hard during, during yes, the year. Yes, sir. Uh, so is dad keeping pretty busy? He is. I've been working and helping okay. him. We're gonna uh, now. This, we're gonna get ready to show a little short video of her reward for making a making all American. So uh, Jeff, let's take this last break and we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back, folks. We got a, setting up a video right here and. Uh, Let's take a look at the fishing game time before we uh, get to the video. Our time today is 9, 12 to 11, 12 this morning, 9, 42 to 11, 42 tonight. Brought to us by Blue Water Outriggers in Port St. Joe. Now here we are, sister. You, you had a great year, a freshman year, and uh, you find out you make all American. So that, that's a thrill, I know, to find that out. And you, so you, you're special all kinds of rewards and all kinds of attention. but. Your dad had something else for you to do. So what's, what the day, what was like the day after something you make All-American. So tell us what you're doing right here. Check this out. 
cutting the grass on the push mower. <laughs> now listen, just because you're all American don't mean you know. <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna show it one more time. First of all, you know, I never see a push mower. And here's a girl who just make all American, and the next day she has to go to the yard and, and mow it. So that, tells, that speaks volumes of, of the work ethic you have, your dad has passed down to you from generation after generation. And like we were just talking, more kids need to mow more yards. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> and uh, and uh, so you still mowing the yard this I summer? am. I just cut the grass yesterday. And it rained again. And it rained, so, so it's growing. It's going grow back. <laughs> Well, that's, you know, y'all live on a farm. It was your granddaddy's farm and all up there. So it's, it's some old, old property. It's good farmland up there in Jackson County. Yes, it, it, also, it really is. And we talk about it all, a lot. And uh, before we came on air, Luke was telling me, uh, he knows how I love to hunt arrowheads. And we talked about it before, Indian artifacts and all. And being there on a the river system in Sneeds, you think about the history and all, and he showed me some things this morning. He said, this is what I found. He just found this this past year or so, working the farm and all. Here's a collection right here. He said, this, this is on his farmland. I mean, look at these arrowheads, folks. I mean, is that not amazing? But look at this one particular one here. That That is the most perfect one I've ever seen, really, that's been found here locally. I mean, look at it. Can you imagine the story that would tell? So. I, and Luke has just promised me the next spring, uh, when he when he plows it, when he plows the fields and and a heavy rain comes, I'm gonna head up that way and probably wind you come with me. We're gonna spend hours. Now tell us about how, how do you enjoy it? Tell us about um, your. <laughs> it's not my favorite thing. I'll go sometimes, but after about ten minutes, I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> it takes longer than ten minutes to find one. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> but, but you never know. But what a what a great collection of. Now, growing up on the farm, you, you had to do all kinds of different things in addition to what else are some of the things you had to do growing um, up? Well, we have cows, so I will help build fence. Um, when we work the cows, I'll help like spray them, give them shots, castrating them. You do all of all those things. Yes, wow. Sir. Wow. So when you get to college and y'all you know, sitting around a dorm or sitting around a room talking or whatever, and y'all share any growing up experiences. You tell your teammates those kind of things. Yes, they, they think it's funny. They, I know they do. I, I was the same way when the University of Florida, being a small town of Quincy, and all these guys. First of all, it was my my boys. They said, "Did you say that again?" <laughs> and I was saying some different things. So I know what you're talking about. When uh, when you uh, go back to school a couple of weeks and all, do y'all start like a preseason kind of a? We'll workout? play a fall season. A fall season. Fall season. So. Okay, now what, God, you're gonna be a sophomore, and uh, what, what do you think about majoring in? Um, I am, right now I'm on the track of kinesiology. I don't know if I want to be a PT and go into that, or if I think actually right now that I wanna coach. Oh yeah, yeah. So, at, at the college level or high school? Um, I haven't really decided yet, so I'm not sure. Okay, well. We have some jobs open here in Bay County for the softball <laughs> coaches. So it, uh, that that is such a worthwhile career. Yes, sir. Coach. You've been around it, and you've had some good coaches. Yes, sir. I have. Uh, they're, they're dedicated folks and all. Uh, what uh, what are some other things you enjoy doing? I know for relaxation. When you, what are some hobbies? You got any kind of special um, hobbies? This summer, I've gotten into reading. I like to read, and I've gotten into where I love working out. I go to the gym almost every day. That's awesome. And y'all, we have a gym there at Sneeds? No, we have a gym in Mariana. In Mariana you go to. That's cool. And so what is what are some of your goals after after college? You get a job and all? And you want to live in this area or live somewhere else? What do you want to I do? Have no I have no idea. Moving away kind of makes me not want to live in Sneeds. I don't know yet. <laughs> at your age, that's exactly how you're supposed to feel and all. <laughs> What's your okay? What's your favorite outdoor activity? Fishing or hunting or just getting out in the woods? What What are some things um, your favorite? If you hmm. if you could do something, I like hunting with my dad. I like I enjoy just going and helping him work too. Yeah, yeah. I like spending time with my dad. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps you pretty busy. He though. does. He yeah. does. And where and where is Dylan? Uh, what's he doing now? He, he he is a diesel mechanic. He works at the Caterpillar place in Midway. That's right. And he was talking about that. He and he travels sometimes. Yes, he, he does. He's a good. good, good <laughs> I was talking to him before. He had to go down to South Florida to do some work. Yes, sir. Uh, what what a great field and all. Do uh, 
uh, your, your teammates and all, when you talk to your teammates and all, you're going to have some brand new ones this year. So what are you looking forward to? Just getting to know them? Um, yes. I'm, I know last year when I came in, I didn't really know anybody either. And some of those girls, we became so close and like, I'll be friends with them for the rest of my life. Right. And I know that I'll get the same experience again. And I'm excited yeah. about that. Well, you know, the, the thrills and of, of, of athletic competition and the disappointments, you live through it all, you know, and, which is a reflection of life itself. You have highs and lows and that, you get that bond. I still have, I'm still friends with some of my freshman guys I played ball with. And, and uh, yeah, so I know what you're talking about. Well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be following you and, uh, oh, your bat, I was gonna ask you about your bat. Do you have a special kind of bat? Or you just have a, you just have a, you have your favorite kind of bat? Do you switch we bats use, around or what do y'all do? We use Demarinis, it's just okay. the ones that the coach likes for us to use and they, the ball goes pretty far when we hit it, so <laughs> we use them. Y'all don't put anything on the inside of it, do you? I mean, uh -uh. <laughs> That's funny, so uh, do you have your favorite one though? You use the same one every time? Yes, I do. You sort of, that's a mental thing, uh -huh. I, I, you know. But, and uh, well, we're gonna start wrapping things up. Got a, uh, anything else you want to say? You got some friends gonna be watching on YouTube. Um, I want to say hey to my uncle Curtis and my aunt Angie. Oh, aren't they special? <laughs> yes, uh, they are. We gotta get them on. Talk about that trip to Alaska they just had. Uh huh. I mean, wow. This is an outdoor family, aren't we? Yes, sir. We all love the outdoors. Uh, well, thanks for coming down. Yes, sir. And, Thank uh, you for having me. We'll be keeping up with you. We're very, very proud of you. Yes, sir. All Thank right. you. Folks, we appreciate y'all watching Panhandle Outdoors. Uh, do something good for someone else today. Enjoy the outdoors, work in the outdoors like your sister does. Take care of it, and God bless. Thanks for watching America's only daily outdoor TV show, Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester, featuring hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.